Hey everyone. Well, it's another cold, snowy day here in the Finger Lakes of New York. Winter just doesn't want to let go. So, need something warm and comforting? I'm thinking risotto. Do, do that with some veggies, a little bit of shrimp. Time to start getting our prep work done. If we do this first, it'll make the whole process a lot easier. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I love cooking with onions, peppers, and mushrooms. I have white button mushrooms pre-sliced from the grocery store. I have a white onion from the grocery store, and the pepper I'm using is a cross between a red and a yellow. You could use a regular red pepper if you like. I'm also using a cup of arboreal rice. Arboreal rice has enough of a starchy outer component that's going to make for our creamy texture. In a side pan, I'm also going to cook a half pound of shelled and deveined shrimp. Shrimp, mushroom risotto just go hand in hand. And to add a bit of a textural component, I am going to take raw cashews and pan roast them. Now, if there is a nut allergy in your household, this step can be left completely out and everything is fine. It's not a necessity. I did it because it's fun. So let's start pan roasting our cashews. I took a skillet and put a little bit of peanut oil. You can use vegetable oil if you like or canola oil. I went with peanut oil. Put in the cashews took my spatula and kept moving them gently. If you, this is one step, just takes a few minutes, but if you walk away, they will burn. And they're going to go from a very pale color and start to develop a beautiful golden brown color. It takes a few moments. It is well worth it. Let me show you what they look like when they are done. These are ready to come out. They've developed a great flavor. It's also given off some of their oils. They have a crunch and yet a battery texture to it. Now, if you happen to walk away, let me show you what happens. Yeah. See the first batch at the top? That's what happens when you walk away. They burn. I still ate them because they're cashews. The bottom one is what we're using. So let's talk about vegetable prep. If you look at a pepper, sweet pepper, you're going to see indents. That's, that's where the ribs are in the inside. You take your knife, cut up, basically along the indent in a curve, and you get just the flesh, and you leave the seeds behind. Took the pepper, sliced it lengthwise, and then diced it into small pieces. The white onion, I also dice into small pieces as well. Put them in the same container because we're going to be cooking them at the same time. I mean, why not? Why dirty an extra container? Time to start our cooking magic. To do this, we're going to start off by taking 32 ounces of stock, put into a pan, and start heating it. We want to get it up to a hot simmer because we're going to be adding this ladle by ladle to the rice. If you're using veggie stock, you can make this dish completely vegan without any problem whatsoever. If you're using chicken stock, not so much. You can see the stock is ready. Time to get the rest of it going. And to cook the peppers and onions, I am going to take a little bit of bacon and render the fat. If you're doing this vegan, you could do vegetable oil or peanut oil and let that get warm and hot. I like the bacon because it's bacon. It's a food group by itself. Once you have some of the fat rendered, and we're not going to make this crispy, it'll get overdone otherwise, we're going to add our peppers and onions. You can see things are fairly uniform in size, and you want that. If there are large differences in sizes, 
they're going to cook unevenly. We want even cooking. That's why we try and make everything the same size. You can see in this shot right here, things are starting to come together. Sprinkle on a little salt. That'll help drive water out of the onions. Let it go on medium, medium high heat. Patience will be rewarded. Once I started to get translucent, I added the rice. Let that cook in with the peppers, onions, and bacon. And once it's sat, sat there a couple minutes, we're going to start adding stock. Here behind, I've taken a second skillet, put in a pat of butter. This is where we're going to do the mushrooms. We don't overcook those. That's on medium-low heat. Just going to let that go. In a moment, just going to put the mushrooms in. So here I've taken the first two ladlefuls of stock. Yes, I'm just using a soup ladle. Put that in, mix it around, and we're going to give it about five minutes to absorb the liquid. And we go on and on with this. About every five, seven minutes, you're going to add a ladle or two. This is a game of patience. You can see in the skillet behind, Mushrooms are cooking away. I've also sprinkled a little bit of salt there to help draw the water out and help them to cook. All total, we're looking at about 20 to 25 minutes of adding ladlefuls of stock to our risotto mixture. You can see right here, it's just about done. It took a little taste and had more than enough salt. It wasn't too salty, it was just the right amount of salt, but it needed other things. So I decided to use secret weapon that my former partner Rocky taught me. It's a Latin American seasoning called Sazon. You can get that in the international aisle of your grocery store. One packet or one teaspoon if you're using from a container. Mix that on in and all the stock has been added. The mushrooms you can see in the back are, are cooked. We put them off to the side. We're just going to let this sit for a moment and absorb the liquid. Here they are. Took a quick taste. The rice is perfect. The flavoring of the broth around it there is great. We're just going to take the mushrooms now and fold those into the dish. You see it's still bubbling just a little. Just turn the heat off. We are good. So far, it's been about 30, 35 minutes of cooking time. Folded in the mushrooms here. We're just going to let, let that sit. Gently mix it a few times to make sure that all the flavors are being combined together. Take another little test, test taste. You've got to taste your food as it's cooking. Otherwise, you won't know if it needs something or has too much of something. So it's time to start getting ready with to cook the shrimp. I took the shrimp, placed it into a metal bowl, and then sprinkled um, Cajun seasoning on top of it. It gives it a nice flavor, a little bit of a season to it, a little bit of, of spice. I think it's perfect. Put it into a skillet with butter. Started cooking. Once it starts to turn pink, and it only takes a moment or two, you flip it over, let it go another couple of minutes, and then, the unthinkable happens. Camera battery died. So, it was time to pull out the cell phone and finish up with that. So here is the risotto. At this point, if it was veggie stock, this is vegan. You're ready to go. You can just add cashews for a textural component and you're done. I took and placed a scoop into a bowl. I took the shrimp, went around the outside of it, added a few cashews on top, 
and it has a wonderful flavor. It looks inviting. So, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for dinner. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, here's cooking with you.